Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to present efficient transformers by Google. So this paper presents a survey on transformer papers which aims to make improvements around computational and memory efficiency. Uh, the, other, the others provide a taxonomy of such variants and call them efficient transformers. Um, these models are characterized by approximating quadratic cost attention matrix in the original transformer architecture and cluster them into five main categories. Low rank and or kernels, uh, memory, learnable parameters, fixed or vectorized or random parameters, and then the recurrence. So the plan is to uh, start by an introduction and problem statement, then an overview on complexity issues in the original transformer architecture, uh, then a taxonomy overview, followed by efficient transformer categories, and then we end up with the conclusion. So the key characteristic in transformers is the self-attention mechanism. So the, and the problem is with the quadratic time and memory complexity, uh, which which uh, provides hinders, I mean, which induces hinders model, uh, hinders in terms of model scalability and then the computation, computational cost. So this survey is about uh, gathering many articles, uh, many articles like um, working on improving the uh, on the efficiency of transformers by tackling the quadratic complexity issue of the self-attention mechanism. So transformer uh, and these papers are in the uh, NLP and the computer vision domain. So he will present the original uh, transformer made by Pesuani and Noel in 2017. Uh, as we can see that the computational memory complexity resides within the scale dot protect attention uh, layer, uh, which will be uh, even great. Uh, the effect will be even greater when n is large, the number of uh, the number of encoder and decoder is large, and then the number of heads uh, also h is uh, is large. So here the idea is to uh, cluster those these works uh, into five main clusters. Uh, low rank, as I mentioned earlier, but the, uh, as we can see, uh, as an observation, that we can see like the um, there are an overlap between those subcategories, like uh, and this means that there is no like a fixed uh, boundary between these categories, uh, inducing that there um, inducing that these papers, uh, these works can be actually. Um, Broadened in terms of this taxonomy could, cannot be um, efficient enough for, for these kind of papers, and then uh, especially these papers are fan only fundamental works about uh, the transformer. Um, so we start by fixed patterns categories, which is a simple specification of the attention matrix. So here the idea is limiting the field of view to a fixed and pre uh, predefined uh, pattern. So we have, uh, for example, um, works that they've done like the blockwise patterns, the strider patterns, and the uh, compressed patterns. So the idea is chunking input sequence into fixed blocks uh, by reducing the, uh, will reduce the complexity from n squared to p squared, where p is the block size. And this is the effect is more prominent where, where uh, if p is uh, way more uh, less than n. In the same category, we have a combination of patterns. So this category will uh, category will um, in this category we, we improve the coverage by combining two or more distinct access patterns by combining started and local attention and assigning half of the heads to patterns. Right. So a combination of patterns reduces memory complexity uh, similar to fixed uh, patterns and. Uh, and the combination of multiple patterns Im eventually improves the overall, overall coverage of the self-attention mechanism, uh, which is an example of the uh, Spark transform by Child and Old in 2019, which is, um, by the way, it's, a, it's, it will, it's part of the combination of patterns and the uh, fixed patterns. Uh, the idea here is to uh, add the connectivity patterns S to the uh, attention uh, matrix, and here we can see the um, <coughs> the matrix is uh, way more sparsified uh, compared to the attention matrix in the original paper. The next subgroup is the learner pat patterns, so which is an extension, to, which is a natural extension to fixed predetermined patterns. Uh, here, the authors aim to learn the access uh, pattern using data and. <laughs> this is by determining the notion of token relevance and assign tokens to buckets, <laughs> it's written baskets, uh, to buckets or clusters. And here we can see three types of uh, three uh, examples of uh, uh, articles: reformer, uh, routing transformer, and synchro. So 
here we present the uh, reformer, which is hash-based similarity measure to cluster tokens and the chunks. That is, um, the keys and queries that have uh, the, the highest um, routing information uh, will be clustered together, right? And since there are some tokens that <coughs> have high, uh, have, have high uh, routing information to all the rest of the uh, tokens, um, we, can, we can understand that the sequence of length D will, and will reduce to a sequence with a length, length B, which is, should be the maximum length, which is the uh, length of the, that specific uh, special token, uh, then B uh, will be similar to D. That is, and that's why the authors uh, proposed a chunking method. That means they propose a certain uh, size of the chunks that they want to cluster, which is the maximum uh, uh, number of tokens within the basket, uh, bucket. So next is the uh, memory uh, subgroup. Here we leverage a side memory model that can access multiple tokens at once by introducing a global, global memory. So the global tokens are in the form of memory that learn together from input sequence tokens. With limited number of memory, we're able to perform pooling-like operation of the input sequence to compress the input, uh, the input sequence. Here we uh, bring up the uh, long-form example by Belter and all in 2020. So the idea here is to, um, it's similar to sparse transformer, but the idea here, instead of only one, um, one design of uh, architecture uh, of um, attention matrix, here the author will uh, collect more than two. Uh, I mean, will will uh, put will use more than two window attention with uh, sliding window attention, uh, the dilated, dilated uh, sliding window, and then take into account of the special tokens to the left there, um, and. Put them all together in the global plus uh, sliding grid. We can we can see here that uh, this sparsification is way more um, is less than the sparse uh, uh, attention paper, but this is more efficient, especially that uh, the sparsification is way more better than the n squared attention. So we go to the next uh, sub uh, next category, which is the low rank method. So. Here we leverage low rank approximations of the self attention matrix. So the key idea is to assume low rank structure in the n squared matrix. Uh, here we bring the, uh, uh, the linformer, uh, which is one, uh, which is made by one and all, uh, which is a projection of the length dimension of keys and values to a lower dimensional representation. So the, as I just said, the key idea is to uh, project the keys into uh, a random, uh, we, we do a random projection over the n dimension, uh, not the d dimension, by the way. So, and then whatever, uh, I mean, multiplied by the weights, of course, the learn learnable weights, uh, these will be multiplied by the queries, uh, and then the um, dot product will reroute information to the values, which is, again, uh, a projection uh, of the values. Um, you can see here that um, first we have a linear behavior, such as the uh, name of the paper of the informer, but secondly, like in, in a very high big sequence le length, the inference time is limit is uh, first of all it's uh, constant and is is way more or less than the uh, original transformer paper, um, which will be uh, good for for large papers such as like GPT three, uh, for example, using the whole. Um, Contents from the internet or, or books or um, document based or videos also. So here the uh, another the second subgroup which is the kernel. The idea is kernelization of the self attention matrix. Uh, this will avoid computing the n square matrix. So kernels are in the form of uh, are a form of approximation of the attention matrix, which can be also viewed as a low rank method. Finally, we end up with the recurrence, which is a, which is a natural extension of the blockwise method. Um, this idea connect these blocks via recurrence, um, and then we have a, a segment-like recurrence mechanism that connects multiple segments and blocks. Uh, finally, we end up with a conclusion. Uh, Pre-training on the quadratic uh, complexity of the self-attention module is the common idea uh, behind these, all these papers. 
this survey, uh, these papers. So this paper, the survey paper, uh, proposes a taxonomy of the core techniques employed in these class of met models. Um, however, this survey doesn't cover all, all the papers and methods for efficient transformers, but proposes fundamental works. Uh, thank you for your attention.